you, Deputy Speaker. Today I rise to support the Islamic Council of Victoria, and I'd like to recognise the wonderful work that they do in servicing our vibrant Islamic community in uh, my home state of Victoria, and the work that they do to foster deeper and meaningful connections with the broader Victorian community. And I especially want to point out the important work that the ICV does in strengthening relationships between First Nations people and the Muslim community. This was highlighted with the signing of an accord to recognise and support the First Peoples of Australia, between, an accord signed between the ICV and the National Congress of Australia's First People. The accord was officially signed by ICV President Mohammed Mohadeen and Jackie Huggins, the co-chair of the Congress at the annual ICV dinner on Sunday, November the 18th, which is incidentally held in my electorate. The accord is an agreement by the ICV to support Congress as an organisation and also to support a set of key objectives and principles. These include promoting the domestic implementation of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, the recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples in the Australian Constitution, the national anti-racism strategy and further partnership work as negotiated and agreed to by both parties. I want to congratulate both organisations on making this commitment that will nurture, support and foster cohesive relationships and enrich our local communities. I also want to congratulate the ICV on two other pioneering initiatives in 2018. The first is the creation of the Jackie Huggins Humanitarian Scholarship at La Trobe University. This scholarship is available to a recently arrived Muslim refugee student in need of financial assistance. In addition to this, the Islamic Council of Victoria sponsored three beds as part of the Rural Children Children's Hospital Foundation bed sponsorship program. And this builds on a continued long-term relationship that the ICV has with the Rural Children's Hospital. Now, there are many other programs, uh, Deputy Speaker, that the ICV uh, is involved in uh, to ensure that um, the Muslim community in Victoria is able to make contributions to our community in a way that is consistent with the values of their faith. Um, but I do want to, in closing, uh, uh, say that uh, Neil Icahn, who has, who's the retiring uh, CEO of the Islamic Council of Victoria is not only a long-time constituent of mine, he's a very good friend of mine, but he has been at the helm of the ICV for over a decade. He has led it um, uh, into a great uh, to grow from strength to strength. He has been a champion of multiculturalism. He's been a champion of interfaith uh, activities, and he has been a wonderful asset to our community, and I look forward to working with Nail uh, in whatever he chooses to do uh, in, into, into the future, well, and I congratulate him.